guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening and reviewing the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collab bundle. So if you're interested, keep on watching. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button. So I'm just going to take a moment to talk about how long shipping took. It took three weeks to get from the States to Canada. And then when it arrived, it was a $30 customs fee, not included in the original shipping costs online. Plus, they only took credit or cash, so that can be inconvenient for people. And yeah. So let me know in the comments how long it took for you to receive your package. If you were a part of international shipping, just so I can see if this is a normal thing, because I've never ordered from Jeffree Star's website before. So this is what it looks like. It just comes in this adorable tissue paper. It has the Manny MUA logo and the Jeffree Star logo, of course. And then the Jeffree Star sticker. Just opening it. So we shall open it. I don't want to rip it because it's so pretty. Oh, and it's pink bubble wrap. I didn't know that. Like... Is this Jeffree Star or what? Why has no one said this? Why is no one excited about this? I have never seen a video where someone talked about how it's pink. I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the part that we are all waiting for. And it is this beautiful box. And it's holographic, of course. I'm sure you already knew that. It's so pretty though. And then on the back of the sleeve, it just has Jeffree Star's website and many MUA social media and Jeffree Star's social media. And again, it's holographic. And that's the sleeve. So once we take it off, it is a matte black box and then the glossy finish with all their logos. Again, you probably already know that because it's been three weeks. And by the time I post this, probably like three and a half weeks, because I already have a video going up before this already made. Um, anyways, though, at least you get to figure out how international shipping is and how the items are in case you're not from the States, because most of the reviews I've seen are from the States. So maybe you get a different perspective from me. And yeah. And it's just fun to review new things. So once you open the box, again with the holographic, so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this. I don't, maybe I'll put it up like as a display. Like, I don't know. Anyways though, so yeah, you take it out. And then of course the packaging is absolutely beautiful. So it has like this geometric design on the box and then in silver, writing it has the information about the box on the back it says vegan cruelty free you better glow bitch long lasting extreme beauty the definition of highlight on fleek and then it just says how you want to use it the ingredients and then again with the social media on the back and then very similar on the liquid lipstick packaging so again with the emblems the product information and then on the side, it has the ingredients. And then on the other side, it says long lasting, extreme beauty, matte finish, cruelty free, vegan. And then it says smile ready for your close up. And then on the top, it says daddy girl. And then same thing for I'm shook. Just of course, the top says I'm shook. I'm actually surprised by it the most. Um, on. On. In pictures and in videos. I was expecting this to be a lot brighter than it was specifically like pictures on like Laura Lee and like I don't know I just expected it to be a lot brighter but it's a lot more tame than I thought it was going to be not necessarily a bad thing it looked really pretty in the pictures it looks really pretty now so I don't really know my true thoughts till I try it on but I'm gonna just talk about my first impressions first about all the products and then I'm going to try them one afterwards and then I'll talk about my final thoughts. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, so the next one is Daddy. And I don't know, this is what I expected. 
looks pretty true to color in pictures. And on both the liquid lipstick packaging, it just looks like this. So just the holographic and black caps, very, very pretty. A++ for packaging. I actually wish Jeffrey would keep this packaging. Of course, he's not going to because every collection he likes to do a different color. But I think eventually they should get into keeping this because it is, it is beautiful and it's like no other lipstick I have. And it feels very luxurious. Doesn't feel cheap. And yeah, I really like it. And then there is the highlight, again, black and holographic. Um, and it's a matte black. And I knew these were big, but like, I guess I didn't realize how big because like, this is bigger than the palm of my hand. And this is another product I was actually kind of shocked with. I thought it was, um, like I knew the emblem was like this with, Manny and Jeffree Star's logo but what I thought was it was imprinted but the logos actually stand out they don't go in I love the big mirror so I'm gonna swatch first oh girl It's not going on as smooth as I thought it was going to. The color is, oh my goodness, it's breathtaking though. It's beautiful, but it's definitely a lot drier than I was expecting to. Now I'm gonna do I'm Shook because I think I'm slightly more excited just because I wanna see what the color is. Um, so there definitely is no scent. So it's definitely different than I expected, but it's a very unique color. I have nothing like this. This color kind of reminds me of Biscotti by Stila, so I'm interested to see what they look like side by side. On one side, I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush. This is actually my favorite highlighter brush. It is the Luxie 522. And I'm just going to make sure there is some product on here. There's a, quite a bit of fallout. And I'm just going to put some on. I don't know. It's pretty. It's not as blinding as I thought it would be, though. Like, don't get me wrong, it's really pretty. It's just, it's not as intense as I thought it was going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thermal spray and spray my brush. So I'm just taking the Event Thermal Spray. Honestly, if you don't feel like using MAC Fix Plus, um, because either you have sensitive skin or just any, whatever your reason is, you, it's not available to you, it's too expensive, try and get the Event Thermal Spray. It's awesome. You get this small bottle or there's this massive bottle and it's a lot more affordable than the MAC Fix Plus, and you get more product as well. Um, so I'm just gonna spray my brush. There we go. Maybe a little bit on my face too. It's really hot in here, so. Go, take it again. Okay, now we're in business. Ooh, girl! Yes, honey! I'm just gonna take a small detail brush and I'm gonna do the same thing. And this time I'm just gonna put a little bit in my inner corner. Ooh, girl. Okay. 
and a little bit on the brow bone. And a bit more on the Cupid's bow, just more defined. Yes, honey! So the first shade I'm going to try is I'm Shook. So that is one dip into it. It's a very lightweight formula. Keep in mind, I've never tried Jeffree Star's formula before, so this is like truly a first impression of the product, the brand, and the collaboration. So I'm being very honest, this is just my first thoughts. It's very lightweight, I barely feel it. It's super pigmented, I overdrew a bit, and I find that you can barely tell because it's so pigmented. It's not drying, it is clinging to a dry patch right here, but that's because I have like a big chunk of dead skin. Okay, so I'm back. I came from the other light, which is my bathroom, and just because it's nice to see in different lighting. Number one, I want to start off by saying I underestimated the highlighter in this lighting. I was liking it, but not insane about it because it wasn't intense enough. When I went into that bathroom, I was actually like taken back. I was like, oh! Okay, if you could see the, like, space from my bathroom, the astronauts would cry and they'd be like, Sarah, my eyes! Because, like, this, this isn't even giving it justice. Like, it is poppin'. Um, and then in terms of the lips, it's a lot more red than I thought it was going to be, as silly as it sounds. I thought it was going to be a bit more pink. It's a beautiful color. I really like it. It definitely reminds me of the 90s. Again, I'm going to go look in another light just because I can't tell if it's making my teeth look more yellow or not. So I shall be back. So I don't think it makes my teeth look more yellow. I really like this color. Why am I so low? There we go. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted by this collab. I think the product I'm most excited for has to be the highlight. At first I was kind of disappointed with the highlight but it's actually the item I'm most excited for now because I tried it with different brushes, I tried it with different techniques, and I looked in a different light just to see what it looks like in different lighting which is very important when you're deciding if you like a product or not. It's very versatile, you can make it kind of every day or you can make it super intense. And then the lipsticks, I love the formula. I'm definitely going to order more from Jeffree Star eventually because, like, you don't even feel it on the lips. I have a severe dry patch right here, and my lips are super chapped, but it doesn't feel drying. I don't even feel anything on the lips. And it's super pigmented, just one dip. Um, I wish that they had a scent. But it's better no scent than a scent I don't like. So here are a few dupes for the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks in the collab. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything for the highlighter. But something is better than nothing, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Comment down below if you plan on getting any of the collab products or if you already have and how your international shipping experience was. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be notified when I post future videos. So that's all for today, guys. So I'll see you in my next video.